Speaking of gifts, I got to do jury duty last week. Oh, uh, you're you're welcome. The civil gift, the civil yeah. duty gift. Mm -hmm. Now, here's what I want to yeah, know. Yeah, tell me. Because we. I can only tell you a few things. Okay. I can only tell you a few things because I've been sworn to secrecy. All right. That's you not true. You okay? So we've been married a long time. Yeah. And twenty I've, some odd years. Right. Twenty some odd years. And I've worked here a long time. Yes. Two thousand years. And I've <laughs> I've worked in show business a long time. Yes. And you are the only person I've ever met yeah. who has not been able to get out of jury duty. You're the only person I know that has actually been selected. They need people like me on the panel. That's the last thing. Oh, yeah, no. I know, I hear, I listen, I can see like facial gestures, and I'm just talking about the attorneys. I'm okay? just telling the judge. you, if you are a person standing trial, this is the last guy you want <laughs> that judging is untrue. the behavior. Yeah. That is untrue. Now listen, six years ago I went, and I sat in this room, and by the way, the person that, the mo who is that, per what do they call that person that, in the jury room that holds you? The, no, the, no, the, before you get selected. Yeah, the calls the names. They're, 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 they work for the jury department. What's it called? No. A clerk. A clerk, a clerk, a clerk. Okay. They're amazing. They're very funny. They, they, okay. Because they know no one wants to be there. You go there, there's 60 people in a room, and the person I had six years ago was hilarious. I sat in this room. I saw people multiple times getting called in, because you get called to go, to, to, to go into a judge's room, a, yeah. a courtroom, and they, and they select the, the jury. Right. I never got called. Right. I sat in this room for two and a half days. Yes. It was amazing. <laughs> and then I was released. I got off scot-free. This time, I did the same thing, right? Mm hmm And this lady was no joke. Right. I mean, I tried to smile at her, and she was, she was not having it. Right. The Consuelo smile had did nothing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> this was an iceberg that, the only iceberg that we have in the world right now that hasn't melted is this lady. Right. <laughs> <laughs> we should put her up in the, the North and South Pole, and we'll, re we'll rebuild our icebergs. Because I tried my best Consuelos, and she was not having it. It is so true. I've got to tell you that Mark also, uh, Mark has this thing, and we should, we should bust out that sound effect. Mark has a thing that if he smiles, he can do, he can get out of anything. Anything. And he can smile at a man or a woman. Yeah. It doesn't matter. But like, look into that. So I want to see if we can get that smile sound effect. Okay, which look one? into that camera. <laughs> so, so I go, I get there, I smile, the lady's not happy to she, but I do like her for some reason because she's tough. I'm gonna Because she's yeah. ignoring you. She's ignoring That's how me. I married him. That's how I married him. Yes. That's all I'm saying. I married him. You ignored me. I ignored him completely, and he was like, what is this? This is an iceberg that hasn't melted yet. <laughs> and <laughs> so I think we know that clerk is gonna be his second wife. So she gets a call, she gets a call, she's like, all right, when I when your name is when your name is called, stay here and go to the back, get out of the room and wait in the back. I was like the third person called. Yeah. Out. There were 60 of us that went into this courtroom. Now, if you've never been in, uh, it was a criminal case, which I thought it was very interesting. You Exciting. sit there, the lawyers look at you, the prosecutor looks at you, everyone's looking at you, and Everyone did their, their, their best not to get selected. But me being the actor, right. all I wanted to do was get the job. I was auditioning for yeah, the job. Right. Right. I didn't know it. I didn't know it. But I knew that I was gonna make, since I couldn't make Antarctica like me, you know, I was gonna make them like me. Do you know how I knew? You know how I knew that you, at this point, had thought that you were auditioning for a job? Yeah. Is when you referred to the jury room as backstage. When I was backstage. <laughs> he did. He did. He came home, he goes, then we go backstage to deliberate. And I go, is that what they call it, backstage? Now, when I realized, I realized that I've been asked a few questions, like, oh my gosh, these people like me. This could mean... I could be in this case for a while, this could be annoying, I don't know if I wanna do that, but I was assured it was a short case, that's what they kept saying. And then I'm like, oh man. And they, one of the questions was, have you had a um, close relationship or <laughs> are you related to anybody who's been an officer, FBI agent, or, or um, a prosecutor? My sister was a prosecutor. Perfect. Perfect. I go, my sister was a prosecutor. 
they go, did, did, you, did she ever discuss cases with you? I go, of course. <laughs> Would you have, do you think you can set aside those, those you know, experiences and conversations to be, to be impartial? And I gave it the old, <laughs> yes? Question mark? Yeah. Could you be important? And I thought, I'm out for right. sure. Because you I gave the, the question pause. Mark. I gave the law and order pause. Yeah. <laughs> I was on law and order twice. I played, I played a prosecutor and a felon. Yeah, I know you did. You're amazing. I wish I would have said that. That's what you should have said. Your Honor, I've, as an actor who's played yeah. both a criminal and a prosecutor, <laughs> right. I don't feel that I can be impartial. So I get selected, I come home, and I'm what? Apoplectic, right? But You're excited. Apoplectic at the same time. yet excited. It's as if you were selected for <laughs> an off Broadway play as opposed to a right. Broadway play. I was in the, I was in the, I was in the, the play 12 Angry Men, and I was seven of those guys. Yeah. <laughs> And then, and then, but then, here's what happens. Marcos, I have to become the foreman because I can't let these people run amok. <laughs> and I go, oh, how are you gonna make that happen? He goes, well, you know, I'm just gonna start Because talking. the foreman's number one on the call sheet and I was like number seven. Right, exactly. I was way down the food chain. Right. But no, he got to, he stayed. And it's, it's a very, if you haven't had the opportunity, you should do it. It's, um, it's a good thing to do. Yeah, it's your civic yeah, responsibility. Civic, and, uh,